loves, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, your girl is doing her very own birthday photo shoot. I do this pretty much every year. I just really like to have fun with this. This theme is going to be really fun, so I figured why not shoot some content and let you guys in on some of the behind the scenes. It's not going to be a tutorial in any way, but I'm going to try to share as much information as I possibly can because doing your own photo shoots are honestly so easy and you feel so accomplished um, when you're done with it. So yeah, this is the night before my photo shoot. Usually you got to do a lot of prepping because not only am I doing my photo shoot myself, but I have to get myself together as well. So I just did my brows. Your girl has to do her hair. Well, technically, my mom does my hair, okay? I am blessed when it comes to my own personal hairstylist. So she does all my hairstyles. Right now I have on a headband wig, as you can see. But underneath it, I have in some mini braids, kind of just to stretch my hair out a bit. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and put my hair into sections. I was definitely inspired by Sierra's fall to magazine look. I will insert a picture somewhere on the screen. And also, this just really reminds me of 90 vibes. And I mean, I'm a 90s baby, okay? So yeah, I'm not going to do too much talking. And like I said, it's not going to be a tutorial, just some behind the scenes kind of action going on. But yeah, I'm going to do my hair and I'm going to go to sleep with it. So tomorrow... Your girl's hair is going to be mwah, chef's kiss. But yeah, you already know if you're a fellow black girl like me, what it does when you put that gel on and band it up and go to sleep, you will wake up the next morning looking just mwah, chef's kiss, okay? Everything will look sleek, like be like it. So yeah, you guys, um, I'm gonna see you tomorrow when all the action will be happening on set in my living room. <laughs> all right, bye. Don't come for my mini fro, y'all, okay? Considering that two summers ago I had a tapered cut, I am so in love. We're gonna work on her because she is a little dry, so we're gonna show her some love. But yeah, we've come a long way and I'm gonna try to grow her out. Love it. Also, I wanna give an apology for the sound in the behind the scenes footage that you guys are gonna see. The mic was not miking, and I didn't notice until it was time to edit, and as you guys may know by now, my birthday is long gone. So I really debated posting this video or not, but I think this video can serve as an inspiration to at least one of you guys to do your very own photo shoot at home and just celebrate yourself. So we slicked my hair with some gel and this is the parting we went with. Why do I feel like the little girl from Polar Express? <laughs> but that's besides the point. I wrapped my hair up, I set it with a blow dryer, and then the following day we added the braiding hair. Alright you guys, as you can see the hair is complete. Shout out to my mother. It's so cute and like if there's any stray hairs or things that have to be fixed, I'm going to do that right before I do the shoot. As you can see, the hair is so long. I'm not gonna bore you guys while I do my makeup because I am not a makeup professional. <laughs> it's not gonna be a tutorial. To be honest with you guys, I was not too exact this time around when it came to my makeup look. I'm just gonna go with the vibe, which I don't technically recommend. It's better to have an idea. Um, and reference pictures and things like that and I've done that for pretty much all my other shoots But for this look honestly depending on your personality you can go any route You can be super colorful and make it like a candy land kind of vibe But I think what I'm gonna do is just honestly a very natural face I think the overall statement that I want to make is with the hair and my sweater that I'm gonna be wearing later so yeah, I'm gonna do a very 90s neutral look and I didn't really need reference pictures for that. It's kind of ingrained in my brain because I just, I love the 90s. I think I might do some eyeshadow. Honestly, I'm not sure. And then like a lined neutral lip. That's what I think I'm gonna do. As far as my baby hairs go, I will definitely go in soon with that. I have this edge control that I really like, so I'm gonna use this. And before I put on my foundation, I'm gonna do my baby hairs. I'm not gonna do anything crazy, but the reference photo of Sierra, she does like really get creative with it, so I'll do my best. Also, pro tip, I recommend wearing like a button down when you're getting ready for photo shoots. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's just really easy to get in and out of, especially if you have very elaborate hairstyles like mine. But yeah, you guys, I will pop back in. I'll show you guys a little bit of the process while I do my makeup. 
but yeah i'm so excited to see the final look like it's already piecing together in my head and i'm so excited <laughs> Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, I really hope this does not fall off, but yeah, I like it. It's like a little dolled up 90s look. Just the perfect amount of brown tones and some pinks. So now it's time to move on to the fun and easy part, which is the accessories. Another star of the show will be the nails. I can't wait to see you guys see this. The accessories are on. As you can see, I went with a bamboo earring. I love this because it's ombre, it's transparent, it's not too much, but it has the pink and blue vibe I'm going for, and the blue matches my little lollipop right here. How cute is this? And then I have a clear gummy bear necklace on. But yeah, you guys, now it is time to change into the outfit. All right, you guys, the look is coming together. I am obsessed. I went with something super simple because there's so many statement pieces going on. I have my hair, you know, I'm about to see the nails and some of my props. But of course it is a photo shoot, so we have to add some shimmer to our chest. I'm adding this limited edition Master Flash Glow Oil from Sol de Janeiro. You can't get this one specifically anymore, but any shimmer to your, you know, chest will really help, especially when you are photographing. You will be shining. Alright you guys, I would be lying if I said I wasn't nervous for this part. If you know me, you know I'm not really a acrylic girly, but I am a press-on girly. However, these are probably the longest nails I've ever worn. Because they have such dramatic charms on them, I feel like I do need to use heavy duty glue and not like the sticker tabs. So I'm a little anxious on how I'm going to function after this. Then I got some extra accessories that I'm going to just apply on these nails with some nail glue. Also, I want to mention that I have these cute, candy-inspired rings that I'll be applying after I do my nails. Y'all, this is about to be a look. So, once I complete that step, I will be seeing you guys on set, aka my living room. <laughs> Alright you guys, we are on set, aka my living room. I pretty much emptied out this area much removed like everything I had on the wall so it's very plain you can always use a backdrop for some of my previous photo shoots I've definitely done that but when in doubt just use a plain wall you can always edit the background in some fashion a cream or white background can never hurt anyone it looks kind of like a studio so totally go with what you have if you want to purchase a backdrop there are a bunch of options on Amazon. And let me just show you guys the press on nails that I have. Pinks, ice creams, teddy bears, gum drops. Also, shout out to the it girls that wear these nails. Because I quite literally can't. <laughs> like, I can't even function right now with these nails on. I made sure I did everything. I set up my lights. I have a ring light and then two lights on the side of me. Lighting is everything. But yeah, now you guys kind of get the vision. Um, the hair and the nails are really going to be the star of the show. And let me show you one of the props that I have. And this is really what inspired everything. Okay, I have like a nail art for this that matches the exact lollipop. Let me show you. As you can see, I have this little lollipop. It was supposed to go on my nails, but it's not sticking, so that's sad. But this really inspired everything. I just want to go ahead and capture my content and let you guys see the final results. It is around 9.30, which is really good for me. Typically in the past, I would literally do my photo shoot at like 9 o'clock and 
still be going at it till like three o'clock in the morning. But this time I said, oh no, ma'am. <laughs> we are doing this two days before my birthday and what we get is what we get. It's this, the lashes, the hair, which is getting very heavy by the way and lots of knots. <laughs> um, plus the nails, which I personally can't function with. Yeah, we're gonna have to get what we get. But I hope you guys like this like behind the scenes action. I do this all the time. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, like, I love doing stuff like this. So let me know if you guys want a very thorough photo shoot. This has been my most relaxed, somewhat planned photo shoot. In the past, I go all out. I'm talking mood boards to a T. For my 25th birthday, I believe I did it offset, which I went somewhere, a location. Set is my home, <laughs> typically. Um, but yeah, or in my bedroom. So yeah, you guys, I can definitely do a video for that. I've done it professionally and personally. I really love being detailed when it comes to photos. These nails are fun though. All right, let me stop yapping and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Um, share it with a friend. There's no reason you shouldn't just have some fun and have your own photo shoot. Photo shoots run you so much money nowadays. It's insane. Hair, makeup, stylist, location, much. Like, it, it adds up, like, thousands of dollars, honestly. So I totally recommend doing at-home shoots. You have fun, and you feel so accomplished when you're done. Uh, anyways, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in my next video. So this is me actually posing for my images. I highly recommend a good playlist. You want to be feeling yourself and just having fun, dance, twirl around, smile, laugh. Those will produce really cute images. If you're going to use your phone for your photo shoot, I recommend downloading a self-timer app like LensBuddy. In general, a self-timer clicker or someone on set is really handy. In this case, I had my mom help me out. Alright you guys, we are coming to an end. Having a self-timer remote comes in handy, FYI, when you're doing your own photo shoot. But y'all, I end up changing the position and just sitting on a chair. We're gonna see how these turn out, honey, but I was posing. Mm. Can't wait until you guys see the final look.